bit your nails hey y'all thank y'all for tuning in to another one of my nail videos and if you are interested in seeing me do more nail videos make sure y'all subscribe to my channel and as y'all can see y'all been on me about getting a new brush so i finally went and got a new brush i went on and just got the um uh, another panel brush as i was using the blue and pink one uh previously and I was trying, I was kind of going back and forth between getting a panel versus a um, Kiara Sky, but I went on and got the panel. And as you can see by the title, I saw a video on TikTok. So it was like how to help do your non dominant hand, uh, do nails on your non dominant hand. And girl, I was blown away when I seen her what she did. So basically, she did her dominant hand. I mean, um, she did one hand. And the other hand, uh, she just you she just used her nail stands, right? And she put the tips on the nail stands, you know, using your uh sticky tape. And instead of applying the acrylic while the nails are on your hands you just apply them on the um the nail stand the nail the tips on the nail stand and then you apply them to your nails so it kind of saves some time so i was like i know you lying when I first seen it, I was like, oh, yeah, I got to try. Because it was time for me to do my nails for my birthday anyway. So, I was like, I had to keep watching the video because I wasn't understand, quite understanding what was going on. So, basically, this is what she was doing. So, she just put the tips on the stand and applied the acrylic to the tips instead of it being on your hand trying to apply it. Because, you know, trying to use your hand your non dom you know and applying it to your dominant hand it's a struggle like it's really a struggle do i recommend this way at the end i definitely do i definitely recommend it uh completely like i don't know no other way other than like this is a go for me i recommend everything if you're doing your own nails do this it will help you out like so much and um what else i was about to say but uh a tip yeah that's what i was gonna say a tip is like i know most people that uh do nails some of them do press songs as well so i'm pretty sure they know you know the gist of what 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 goes on or whatever when um doing press songs so this is pretty much what you're doing if you know how to do press songs so as i was applying the acrylic to the tips it was getting stuck to the damn stand the acrylic was getting stuck to the stand. So I was not thinking about the sidewalls. <laughs> I was not thinking about the sidewalls, I'm guessing. So I didn't know that it wasn't cut. I guess I was thinking about it. I just wasn't realizing that it was not covering the entire um, nail stand. You get what I'm saying? So apparently the tips weren't over completely over the tape and the nail stand so it was getting on the nail stand itself the little tip of the nail stand so it was kind of getting you know i had to get my net my drill and foul the tips off of the nail stand because it was stuck the acrylic had done applied to the damn stand y'all so that's another one of my tips to um, make sure it's not just overflowing on the tip of the nails. That's what I can say. And that's just like we're doing nails. So I guess that's my issue with doing nails, child. I be making this stuff overflow. But it was so much easier when I applied it. 
So as you can see, um, I'm not completely covering the entire tip of the nail. I'm leaving that little gap towards the smile line, you know, the apex area. So make sure y'all don't cover the um, completely cover the whole tip before applying them to your nails. And I say that because it's going to allow you to see exactly where to apply the tips to your nails. You know, you have to see that little, um, that guideline. See, I'm all done. And then I just did both. So I didn't just do one hand. I was just like, I'm lazy. I don't want to do nothing. I don't even, it's hard doing your own nails. I'll be making everybody else look cute, fly, you know, jazzed up all of it. But when it comes to my nails, they don't ever be done. And I got to get back to, you know, I got to get back in tune with doing my own nails. So I was just like, instead of me doing one hand, I might as well just do both and try it out and see how it is, you know. And I'm so glad I did it. I'm so glad I did it. But um, y'all know I'm a beginner at doing this. So I just need to apply um, the acrylic a little bit better on the tips. So as y'all see, I was pushing. I already pushed back my cuticles. The um, And now I'm just going in with my cuticle nippers. Cutting them hang nails off and the dead skin on the cuticle area. And I'm kind of been getting in, in tune with cutting the dead skin off, y'all. I, I really kind of been liking it. And it makes the nail look so much cleaner. But back to, um, now I'm just cutting the tips off of my real nails. Just cutting them down. I don't like long nails. I don't like my nails long when I'm applying acrylic. When I'm applying fake nails to them. It just don't make sense. It just don't make sense at all. Because that part definitely going to get damaged. I can see if it was like an overlay or something. But no, I'm applying real fake nails. So, um, as far as the, um, doing the acrylic on the tips, like I told y'all, be careful with the overflow. I just hate seeing this, like, let me the um as far as these big uh sandy bands i don't got so used to the smaller ones now like i enjoy the smaller sandy bands but since i have so many of these sandy bands who gonna use them is me okay so now i'm just taking the shine off the nails and kind of cleaning up that um you know it'd be having like a little sticky layer right there close to the cuticle so I'm just taking it off and taking off the shine, you know, buffing the nails so it can be, uh, the tips can adhere to the nail a little bit more, a little bit better. So, so now here I am using the KDS glue and I'm about to show y'all me applying it and how it looks. It looks crazy as hell, but <laughs> the thumb, I can say it shrunk. The tip, um, just the thumbs that did that. Like, I was just like, me applying the acrylic to the nail, to the tips. It shrunk the tips, the thumb tips. So, it was kind of like tight, real tight applying the thumb. But after a day, it kind of loosened up. So, I really hope I, I mean, they feel like they really on tight, so... That's the only finger that the two thumbs, it did that to. I know I sized them real good, you know. You see that? I left that guideline still, that space open, just so I can see the glue and how far to go down on my nail when I apply the tips. So, do y'all see the hack? Do y'all get it? Do y'all understand what I'm doing? I'm making it easier. So, now all I have to do is apply the acrylic to my nail bead. That's it. And let me go back. Um, Just to say. So, now here I am just blending in the tips of the nails with my nails. You know, make it look seamless. 
And um, I can't forget what I'm about to say. Because y'all know I ain't done a voiceover in my last couple videos. Apparently, y'all don't like when I talk. Because my views be going up with the non-talking videos. So, it is what it is. But apply when um do applying the acrylic onto the tips of the nails when they're on the stand make sure it doesn't overflow on the sidewalls on the sides of the nail of the tips another thing i wish i would have did foul them junks down like foul them down on the sides i wish i would have just shaped them and everything do that that's the second tip shape the tips of the nails while they're on that stand go ahead and do it go ahead and get it out the way and um what else tip did i had i don't think i found the did i found the acrylic right here the tips now you know kind of make it like lay a little bit flatter i don't think i did I wonder if that would matter. I don't know, but you have to make sure you file them tips to blend in with your natural nail. <clears throat> and you just see me cleaning up the nail area with some alcohol and dehydrating them. It's like on the thumbs. You can kind of see how tight it is. Like, So here I am applying the acrylic the nude color from dynamic nail supply it was vintage nude so with the tips already been done all i have to do is just apply the acrylic on the nail bead is it a time saver um i want to say it saves time it's just not as much work that you have to do it's not as complicated when applying it to your own nail, you know? So as far as saving time, I wouldn't say it's a time saver. It's just more convenient. This is a convenient way. And I'll promise you, this has changed my life. <laughs> it has changed my life. So I'm just, um, you know, after I did the dehydrator, I just go in on each finger and apply the primer. I use no lift and I go in with Young Nails Primer. And I like to use the, I know I was saying I was gonna switch the way I applied it, but I like it because I put the more acidic primer on first, which is the no lift primer. So this all I have to do, y'all. This this pretty much it. Like after the tip, the tips are done, I'm just blending it in, applying the acrylic to my natural nails, you know. And the girl is ready to go. So like I said, the only thing was the I gave y'all the two tips. The second tip, just shape the tips of the nails before applying them on. Shape them. It just saves so much time when, you know, after you done applied the whole nail and completed applying the, the whole acrylic application on the nail. Then, you know, you got to foul, go back and foul and clean up. But yeah, I'm like, I'm loving my brush. Like I was saying, like I was going between whether I wanted to do, uh, get another Kiara Sky brush or a panel. And I just felt like I liked it, the panel brush that I had, that I have now. You know, the toe up one, I know it's all, it's toe up. It was time for me to get a new brush because it has helped, helped my um, application so much more. So much more. Because I just was at that point where I was trying to figure out, is it me? Is it the acrylic that I was using? Or do I need to go ahead and give me a new brush? So it's kind of um, helping me that I have a new brush now. 
So I was skeptical to go ahead and get a new brush until I figured out what was the issue, you know, because I didn't want to go get a new brush. And turns out I don't turn around and mess this one up, too, you know, so I want to make sure that I know what I'm doing wrong first. And then I'll go get me a new brush because why y'all get a new one and I'm just steady messing brush out the brush up, you know. So, I've been taking my time. I done had a few clients after this. This was my first time. Y'all see me open it. It was my first time using a brush, and I did not mess it up at all. I have not messed it up. She's still over there cute, slim, thick, you know. She's still over there or whatever. She ain't toe up or none of that. And um, Sarah's nail lounge, you know, she kind of gave me a little advice, and she was just like, don't stop using the... Uh, <laughs> cuticle pusher to clean out the acrylic in the brush cut child because i don't know it was just kept getting stuck in my brush and what other way did i it wouldn't happen me just wiping it on the towel so turns out i just need a new brush i just needed a new brush like my bead to acrylic my um acrylic to monomer ratio i'm still working on it you know it's not as bad as it used to be but i am still working on it but if you don't i don't figure it out like if you don't have a good brush it's just not gonna work and as you can see it's just janky like especially the tips you can see the tips like it's all overflown on the sides and everything so i kind of wish that i would that would have saved me a lot of time if you know after at this point if i would have found and shaped the tips of the nails when it was on the nail stand itself you know but like I said, I just seen this little hack this girl did. And I was just, I just had to save the video and everything. I was like, this done changed my life, girl. <laughs> I probably go back and tell her, like, shoot. I tried it. It worked. It's a game changer for me. It might, I don't know how y'all will see it, if it will help y'all. You know, but I know a lot of the girlies have a, a hard time doing that non dummy hand. Like, I know I used to record me and the struggle. I At, at the beginning of me um, doing nails, I used to really record my all my struggles. Like, I want the girls to go through the struggle with me. But that non dummy hand, I'm not recording it no more. It takes too long. It, it's... It, by the time I did all that, like my camera, my camera was run, running out of storage. Yeah, so I was just like, yeah, this, 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 no point of me recording my non dummy hand. Y'all just gonna see me do my thing on my left hand, and it's that, you know. That's pretty much what y'all need to see anyway. But next time, I can't wait. I can't wait to show y'all. Dang, I already need a feel. It ain't that bad. But child, these nails came out too fire. Too cute. This is probably my last look. You know, got to go out with something with a bang. But this is probably my last little summer set. I just seen a little... Um, I seen a set, it was like a summer set, but it's like we going into fall too type of set. I might do that one because I have some little promo videos that I need to do. But tell me what y'all try this little this little trick, this little hack, you know. Cause like I said, it's just so convenient. It is so convenient. And I had um I didn't have time to do my nails, like to paint them, so I came back the next day and did it. But um, let me go back. The drill bit that I was using at first is just a round barrel drill bit, a smaller one. I have a larger one as well, but I feel like the smaller one is way more smoother. At first, I was using the five and one to clean up my cuticle area. Nope. 
why was I doing it? Because I've seen other people doing it. And sometimes, you know, you just got to try to figure out what works. You, well, all the time, you just got to try stuff out and see what works for you. But don't just go by one person, what you see and learn off of one person. Try watching, you know, like me, I watch YouTube all the time and I be learning new stuff from the girls, you know, trying to see how to perfect my craft when doing nails. And everybody does it different ways. And I suggest just you do it different ways too, just to figure out what works best for you. Because when I got the 5-in-1, y'all know when it came out, it was just hyped up. And it's still hyped up. You know, don't get me wrong. I still use it. As you can see me debunking it. That's what I mainly use it for. Because a lot of people that I seen was... You know, cleaning up the cuticle area with the 5-in-1. So, what did I do? I was like, oh, that's how you do it? It works for y'all, so let me try this, you know. But now, I don't clean up my cuticle area with the 5-in-1. I might go over it as I'm debulking, you know, just to debulk that area a little bit more if I have to. But I needed, I found out that I needed something smooth to clean up your cuticle area the five in one is too jagged it has those jagged you know ridges in it and stuff so that's not a good cleanup tool for a cuticle area i needed something smooth something smaller that'll fit in them in that area you know and i feel like something round you know the little barrel it's just curves around that cuticle area so perfect to me so perfect to me even the super small barrel the i don't know if i used it on her i've just been talking child i just been talking i miss talking i don't care what y'all say i like the talking videos but it's my nails so you know i have to come on here and say something I have to say something and as far as the um, 8080 hand foul, I have put it in my head. Don't be scared to use it. You know, I've been going in. I've been hand ball. At first, I was just always looking at the girls that use the hand foul. Like, why are you overworking yourself when you could just use the drill? You know, your e-drill. But... It's just something up, but now I think I'm one of them girls that like to hand foul. I done became one of them. Like, I'm all on top of the nail with it. You hear me? Like, look, I'm all that. I'm that girl now. I ain't been scared to use it. It's just like you have better control over the shaping of your nail. Look at it. Girl, I'll switch, throwing it around, switching, swatching. And girl, I'm one of them girls. You just have more control over the hand foul than you do the e foul. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can, you see how that is? That peak, look at that. Like, you could just, the girls that get it, get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, no shade to the girl that used the e-file because I was once that girl. But now, mm-mm. No, I want to I wanna really work. I want. I don't mind working. Even with my clients, girl, you better hold on because we're going to go for a ride with this drill, with this uh, hand file. Give me your hand and be still. <laughs> Child, but you do got to be careful because they are sharp, especially, the you know, the 8080. And I watch, um, nail, you know, everybody know Nails by Jessica. I be watching her. You know, she used 60 by 60. I'm like, damn, girl. I don't know if I want to do that yet. I'm just getting in tune with my 8080 and you over here using the 6060. Girl, I know them nails crisp. Like, you been, uh, scratch somebody's skin off. 
they touch somebody, they gonna scratch them up for sure. But I know her nails be so crisp. It's just her nails by just I just love watching her videos because it's just so I just be in awe. Like how you get it to be like that. But where I got the fallen from was um They could name Gabby. If I'm not mistaken, I forgot what the name is. But Gabby, she she's one of those girls where you just that's why I was just like, why you foul so much? You know, when you can the e foul can just take her all of it. But I get it now. She done rubbed off on me, and now my nails get looking a little bit better. You know. But shaping on the nails looking a little bit better. So here I am applying my, um, I'm going to start in the paint. Starting all the designs and stuff. And girl, I used some everybody polish. I, I used, I know for sure this light pink is nail reserve. I think. Is it? Oh, that's a... What color is it? That's not nail reserve, is it? Oh. That's born pretty. I can tell by the handle. That's a born pretty handle. Oh, okay. I think I used nail reserve for the... Oh, yeah. I used it for the darker pink. I only used nail reserve... Only for small designs. As far as like doing um, French tips or any kind of sharp designs. May, may, mainly, let's just say French tips, child. No, ma'am. I can't use nail reserve for French tips. Their polish is not made for that. Um, I done tried so many times. It's just, don't be giving. But for like small designs and yeah, the nail reserve is perfect for that. But something like this, I wouldn't use it fully, full blown polish like that. This model ones, you can see about a number, the handle. <laughs> Model ones that never fail you. They perfect in all designs, French tip, whatever you want to name it. And I wanted to put um base coat on my nails to make it a more little smoother process, but I ain't got time. You ain't gotta always do that, but maybe if it's like a lot of French tips, then that'll be cool. It'll help. But I don't mind. I don't have to do all the base coat to get it a sharp design, sharper um, lines and stuff. So these weren't completely French tips. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't no need for me to do all the extra step. I was already ready to get up. This was the inspo. And the inspo pig, I don't think it had the thumb. I didn't see the thumb. So I was just like, what can I do? Because this, this nail design is fun. It's like a bright, fun, summery, you know, girly type of vibe. So I was just like, it can't be nothing that we don't, you know, nothing too. It can't be too much, but be just enough, you know? It can't be plain when I got all these other stuff on my nails either. So you'll see what I can, what I did. And I know for sure this purple is Dynamic Nail Supply Purple. I wanted to wanted to make it, wanted to make it like a lighter shade. But like I said, I um I, I was over it kinda because I told you the first day I did the nails, you know, did the acrylic application. And the following day is when I did the nail designs. I 
I can't just do it all in one sitting. I'm doing half and half, baby, half and half, so I won't get all frustrated, won't get tired, and it won't take up all my time. And I don't, I don't know why it takes us so long to do our own nails. Like, I don't know why it takes so long. I just be going in thinking it ain't finna, I thinking it ain't gonna take me no more than three hours like everybody else on the on you know me doing other people nails like child I finna do it this time I go in with confidence and everything y'all and you know I just be like yeah I'm gonna I'm stick to the time just like any other person nails that I'm doing you know like why I gotta be so complicated but here I am the next day a whole day later but it's really because i waited to the last minute and i had to make like the um breakfast tray and stuff for my little get together for my birthday so i had stuff to do and i still had to do my lashes i did my lashes did the clusters applied the clusters with the wrong damn glue y'all as you can see i did the little cartoon effect design on the nail but yeah, girl, I had did the clusters on my lashes and I used the wrong glue. I used the the glue that you can take your neck, your lashes off the same day. I was like, I know you lying, Jamie. Cause I'm just like, why is my lashes coming off? Turns out I don't use my everyday lash glue, you know? I was like, man, I'm supposed to use the glue that's supposed to stay for a week at least, you know? And this glue I had got that my, um, uh, to use with my clusters, I got it off a of chain. And the hype is what it is about, child. Because it was just too many people saying too much good. Like, I didn't see not one. Well, it was one person out of the whole reviews was just like, it's okay. I was just like, okay. I checked out the reviews twice before I bought it. I was just like, it, no, this got to be what it is. Because too many people is posting about this glue. And it came off a sheen, so I got it. And it turns out. Yeah, your lash is not going nowhere. It was worth the hype. And I just be so happy when I find something so good. You know, and the reviews don't be lying. You know, it's kind of rare to find stuff like that. Like, no disadvantages or nothing. My lashes was on, baby. And I was just so happy for that. So, here I am just going in with, um, oh, this was base coat. And y'all know, all my videos, I talk about blooming, doing the blooming effect, and ooh, it's just like, I don't know, I gotta just keep working on it. And I had bought some blooming gel from Sheen, and why was it color it was black so i was i need to go back on my um purchase history go back to that um item and just see if it was colored or not because i'm just like i know damn well they ain't give me no old blooming gel <laughs> blooming gel supposed to be clear why is it black i was not understanding But yeah, these um that dark pink that was nail reserve. That purple, like I said, the purple that I'm using, that came from Dynamic Nail Supply. That green is model one, the yellow is model ones. And here I am. I'm just going over the um doing a second coat on my nails, basically. Where did this blue come from? Where did the blue come from? I think that blue came from model. I think that blue was model ones too. If I'm not mistaken.
Okay, so now all my little my little second coat on my hand is all done. As y'all can see, oh child, I didn't even start on the right hand yet. But yeah, I'm just doing a little abstract little squiggly lines in pink in that dark pink on my pinky finger. When I say these nails were so cute and fun to do, like I knew I was gonna do my thing. I just knew it. And then that green, it's like a electric green or something. I don't know what to call it green. Like definitely neon something. And here, I don't know. Um, this kind of like it had like little spots on the design bit, I, the inspo peak. So I just went in, got the dark pink. And just started dabbing it, doing a little dabbing look. And I kind of mixed it with um, a little base coat, like a little bit base coat so it won't be as dark. And kind of spread just a tad bit. And this blue that I'm going in with, I mixed it with um, some base coat as well. So it wouldn't just look like a dot. I still wanted it to bloom just a tad bit, you know? Like bloom just a little bit. And then here I am, I did the same thing with the yellow. I mixed it with base coat. And just dabbed it on where the um, blooming effect was. So here I am now. I'm almost done, y'all. I'm just going in with my car glue and top coat. Then I'll be applying my little uh, charm to the nail. They already coming out cute, girl. And nobody likes the birds no more, I guess. Like, I'm like, I done bought these birds and ain't nobody ever asked for them. But you know what I done did? I done went and got one of those. Well, I already had one of those um, acrylic displays for your charms. I can't wait. Oh my God. I'll probably record me doing that. That'll be a good video. Applying my charms to the um, acrylic display. But I need the tape. I need that double-sided clear tape. I might get it from Amazon. And here I am just applying my um, charms. I'll be applying the same UL those charms to my pointer and my pinky finger. Using the same glue. And here I am just using my, um, uh, putting a little cute little lollipop. It had to be pink to tie in that pink design. You know, it's only right. It would have been cute if I had a blue one though. But I just figured that pink would have been, it just ties in with that ring finger design. You know, it don't be too much. And here I am all done. And I'm using the rest, the little bit that's left in this dynamic nail supply bottle. I only use this on me now because it really ain't that much in there. But this the first bottle that I done ran out of with top coat. As far as top coat, I'm like, dang, I know I do nails. I still ain't ran, never ran out of top coat before. But today is today. It's the same top coat that I've been having. But I have other ones. I guess that's why. Because I be rotating. What's the uh, one with the red top? That's my favorite. I can't think of the name. But thank y'all for tuning in to watching my little fun, cute design. Child, I finally got my nails done. I'm fine. The girl is back. I'm back. Look at that. My daughter did the recording, so y'all. <laughs> but yeah, if y'all enjoyed this, if y'all found that little hack helpful, 
Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment and let me know if you'll try it. Thank y'all, that's babes.